What's going on guys, it's Garrett, and I don't think any of you guys know the actual struggle until you've made a tutorial like this, and then you realize that your mic's not recording. So I'm pretty much doing this whole thing all over again, and we're gonna be pretty much making these two outros for you guys for your uh, videos and stuff. And uh, we're not gonna be doing any of the text really, um, the text is really up to you, I'm not gonna be too much of a critic on that one. So the text is not gonna be included in this, just as the actual border itself and how to use it and stuff like that. So uh, basically this is actually a really easy tutorial itself, we're going to be making this matching our webcam tutorial, and uh, let's get right into it. So what we want to do is just start off making a 1280 by 720 just document. So uh, the next thing we want to do is go in the description, you guys want to download two things, a stock pack and also these blue color swatches, or blue, silver, and like dark grayish. And pretty much what these are used for is just... We're going to be using them on the border itself, making them a little bit nicer and more appealing. So uh, after you download the stock pack, what you want to do is just open it up and then scroll down about, uh, mostly about down at the bottom, and there's going to be a blue full stock. So what you want to do is just grab that and bring this into your new document. So uh, you want to just pretty much position it any position that you want. It's just something that you guys want to add, and you're pretty much good. The next thing you guys want to do is click on your background and hit Control J on that and put it above everything. And then hit Control T, and pretty much just hold Shift and shrink it down, and then put it in the middle. So this is going to be your video that's going to be playing over and over again, just for people to watch and click on then the video. And what you want to do is just take your fill and put it down to zero. Right click on your blending options, and then go to Stroke and put it Inner Stroke on. You want to put it to about eight or so, depending on your size of your border. If it's make about this size, eight's really good for it. Um, as I said before, most of my tutorials, working with even numbers just looks a lot cleaner than working with odds for some reason, just in my eyes. And after done with that, make a new layer, hold shift and just right click the other one and hit merge layers. So the next thing I'm going to do is grab right here the, your dark gray layer style. So this is going to be the first layer style you guys add out of the pack. And that's pretty much going to be going on from the easy part now. So the easy part is actually adding these side panels. So what you want to do is just make a new layer and then just clicking right here and bringing it out a little bit and not too much because if you bring it out too much it's gonna look really weird and just right click put a fill and then put it on like any color you want doesn't really matter and then add that gray layer style so once you add that gray layer style that silver layer style you want to just kind of size your border back up and make sure the panel is not too much and then just center it it usually clicks in the center or a purple line will pop up depending on your uh, photoshop you're using and then just duplicate it hitting Control J and then flip horizontally and you guys will have a little border like this. So well, the next thing you guys want to do is add actually the bottom ones. But before we do that, we're going to make this a little more clean and we're going to start labeling everything. I'm going to start doing this more in my tutorials just before, uh, not before, but just because I give these out for free. So uh, I'm just going to be pretty much typing it in. So this is going to be called the uh, border and this is the left panel and then my right panel. Right, and now you want to do is just make a new layer above the blue full, and this is going to be our bottom panels. So you want to do is just click right here, hold shift, and drag on a diagonal line, and then just bring it right back into the middle, and then hold shift and just connect these. Right click, fill, and then make any color you want because you're going to be adding this blue split layer style onto it, and then you want to just duplicate it. So you guys can duplicate it, edit, transform, and then flip horizontally. Click the arrow again and then drag in. It should just click like the same space away. So what we're gonna do is just merge these two now and then label them bottom panel and then duplicate it, label this top panel, and then go to edit, transform, and flip vertically. So this is gonna be creating this mirror image of from the bottom to the top, and this is just a little clean tip that people do, little clean effect. So now that you have that, we're going to start adding other stuff. So we're going to add the text in the bottom. So the bottom text is actually pretty easy to do. What you want to do is just go above your top panel, your bottom panel, whichever you want to add it. Make a new layer and do the same thing you've been doing for everything else. You want to click right here and bring it out a little bit and bring it however long you want it. And then just kind of connect them. Go to fill, put the color on it, any color you guys want, and then put it back in the center. And then you want to add, let's just say a silver or a overlay onto it. I'm going to be adding the silver one. Alright, so you guys can add your silver overlay to it. 
and uh, it's pretty much you guys can just start adding other stuff onto it. it doesn't really matter um layer styles doesn't really matter if you guys are doing them it's just pretty much your guys eye so I'm gonna be adding this one it's not in the pack but it's just a one with bevels on it instead of bevels just put a little bit down more I don't know 174 so it's not too much to do so uh, after you done with that what you want to do is just add your text so what you want to do is type in let's just say previous video and for font choice, um, I'd use something more of a techie kind of font, like Bank or Bank Gothic. But right now, since I'm on my laptop, I really have no fonts, and I'm gonna be using Arial Bold. I just kind of shrunk the text a little bit, and I'm just gonna put previous. Don't put previous upload because I think someone sees that they're gonna know what it is. So put previous, shrink it a little bit, and then put it right in the middle of this, and then add that gray layer style that you've been working with on the uh, border itself. You guys are going to have to zoom in probably to center this again. There you go. And then you guys are good. So uh, now that we're done with that, um, there's some stuff that I want to add. Before I'm going to write this down, I'm going to put a uh, bottom text panel. So uh, there's some things that I like doing. So what I started learning is if I make a new layer and merge this border and just re rename it, there's some cool things that we can do. We can go to the stock pack and you guys can grab, let's just say, this blue techie one and drag it in. So once we're done dragging this in, just hold Alt and put it onto the border itself, and it creates this super cool techie kind of feel to it. And I think this looks super nice, and it's something that you guys should do to your borders. It's something to do in your banners too, which is a really nice effect that you guys can do overall. So uh, after you know with that, this is pretty much your video border. So what you want to do is just click this, hit Control J on it, and label this, let's just say first border, or first outline. Duplicate it. And then just bring it to the side about the same space apart hold shift and then just put these together and put them in the middle if you guys can and just eyeball it and this will be your previous oops there, redo that I got not used to this trackpad thing yet so this can be your previous and then grab your text cool text tool and this can be your random and then just put that back in the center so take away that ruler and you guys got this so far so what uh, I want to do is start adding other stuff you guys can put this to like second or your let's put to random random and then we'll put this to previous so the next thing I'm gonna do is just make a new layer and then grab your brush tool and put it on about 500 on a white brush and this is going to be adding this to the, the cinematic or uh, these nice top brushes brush effects so you want to just put it like about halfway and click about a quarter way in the, in the left side and click about I'm gonna say another uh, quarter of the way on the right side and click. Take the opacity and put it down to about 37, and then put it on screen. All right, sorry about that, guys. So what you wanna do is just pretty much go put this on screen, and once I said before, and just lower the opacity back down to about 35%. This just creates this nice little uh, kind of blue touch to the sides. So uh, the next thing you guys want to do is pretty much start messing around with your background and your other stuff. So I'm just going to make this background black, hitting control I on the background layer, and just lowering the opacity. And I'm not going to make it too bright, but I don't want to have such a big drop, or such a big brightness, and then the contrast. So uh, next thing I'm going to do, just make a new layer behind this. Take a black brush, just kind of click right there. Do the same thing on the same side, and this creates just a nice like drop shadow through everything. And uh, we're gonna be deleting the stuff in the background, but we're not gonna do that just yet because that's gonna be the second thing we do, or not the second thing, but almost the second to last thing we do. And then you guys can just go straight back to the other pack that we are using, and pretty much just start clicking other stuff and just looking at everything. And this is pretty much where you guys want to start experimenting. So this is pretty much experimenting time for designers and for you guys in the tutorial. Um, it's really, I haven't really messed with anything yet. And it's really pretty much all preference with this just because it's how you want to, I guess, brand your tutorials or brand your videos. And it's a little too much. Maybe I put an overlay. Nope, even worse. Color burn. I don't know what I'm doing right now. As I said before, experiment time. So uh, pretty much you guys can just mess around with this yourself. You definitely don't want to go too dark, too uh, bright. Maybe I just darken this a little bit. 
but uh, it's pretty much just you guys want to take it to yourself. You guys can lower the opacity of these brushes over here. And it's literally how you want your videos to be. And I'm going to tell you guys now, a lot of people come to me and they're like, Garrett, like, how do I make my videos better? How do I gain more subscribers? How do I do stuff? And it's pretty much don't just copy people. That's like how you do it. You got to just be original and set your own rules. So I'm just going to stop here before I start getting too crazy with stuff because you know me. I start with one thing and then 20 minutes later I'm still in the same thing. So the next thing I'm going to do is make a new layer and put it above everything but below this and just take your black brush and kind of create a uh, blur right here and then put it on overlay. And this just creates a nice little effect and uh, yeah, I don't know, it's just something cool to add. So uh, pretty much now you guys are almost done. There's not much else we can really do except for uh, add some text. So uh, as I said before, I'm not going to be doing the text in this tutorial just because I'm not, I don't have any like good fonts on my computer and I don't really know what to do for text just because it depends on your videos and depends on what you want to do. So I'm just going to add my logo. So let's just say you just want to add your logo. Just going to just throw it up right in the top middle and you guys can add like layer styles onto it and stuff just to make it look a little cooler. And as I said before, it's just pretty much you. So, uh, yeah, I don't want to just do this whole entire thing for you because you guys want to grow as a channel as a whole. And I know why you guys are watching this tutorial is to learn something and to help your channel out. And pretty much I'm using these tutorials to help you guys out and not that you guys copy someone because you're really gonna not going to get anywhere with copying. So I'm going to leave this guys here, this tutorial right now at the end. And pretty much the last thing you guys would need to do is add your social links and add your... Uh, your logo or whatever you guys want to add at the top. But before we go, I'm going to show you guys the last little bit. So you want to do is just file, save, and then save as a PNG to your desktop or to your hard drive or something. Something, and just label it outro. This, this is when you have all your text on and stuff. So it's going to save a little bit. Computer's slow. And we're going to be pretty much opening it back up right away. And this is just so we guys can uh, add some little like final touch effects and little final, final things. You're gonna get past 48%. What are you doing? There you go. And just a little couple final things. So, you want to do is just hit Control J on it, go to Filter, Blur, and put a little bit of Gaussian Blur on it. And then just take your eraser, like always, and kind of just click away the uh, main parts that you want to be blurry. So, now you do that, just kind of merge these two back together, and then now you want to zoom in. So when you're zooming in, you want to take a rectangle, it's white, and just kind of put it where this video would be, right here. What do you want to do? Take it, hit control and click right in the box, hit control X in the banner, the background. Ooh, come over here, drag it over here, holding shift and just using your mouse pad, your mouse, your trackpad, or your tablet. Do the same thing, hit control X to delete, and there'll be a little checkerboard back here. And you guys are like, Garrett, what does this checkerboard do? And I'll explain it to you guys in a little bit. But before we do that, let's start adding more stuff. So this is pretty much, as I said before, we guys can just start adding stuff. Um, don't, don't get too intense with this just because you just want to be there for like 30 seconds and goes away. So you guys can add like a little more like dark stuff. You guys can take like another brush Maybe put the hardness up to about 16 and kind of darken in like the corners like this. Lower the opacity. You guys can literally do endless amount of things. So next thing you guys want to do is pretty much save this with all your stuff on it. So go file, save as PNG, and label this outro final. So now that you have your outro final, I'm not going to show you guys in the editing software how to do this, but once you do it, all you want to do is import it into your After Effects, your Sony Vegas, your Camtasia, you guys want to import it to your Windows Movie Maker, your iMovie, you're going to do it on your phone, I have no idea what you guys are doing. So what you want to do is just import this and then take your videos and put it behind it, like you put your over, you know how you put your video overlays above your videos, you're going to put those original videos under this. And then just shrink them so they fit the previous size and the random size. And you're pretty much set. It's going to play through a little bit. And then you guys can just end the video. And then in 
um, what's it called? In YouTube itself, you guys are allowed to uh, make annotations on the screen. You guys can make them clickable. So you're going to make the clickable ones to your video, and that's pretty much it. So uh, if you guys want an actual tutorial on how to just set these up, let me know in the description below or the comments below, and I'll definitely do that. But this is pretty much it. It's not something hard to do, and it's really easy to do, and it's really nice. So uh, as I said before, I'm not doing the text for one reason. That's for you guys to experiment with your yourself. You guys want to add your social links or something, because I'm not going to pretty much just walk you through it hand by hand. This is what you guys want to do. You guys want to grow. You guys want to start doing stuff on your own and learning your own designs. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, leave a like and a comment in the description below. And uh, if you guys have any other tutorial suggestions, let me know in the comments below. I always check them out. I'm trying to reply to every single one for the new year. Kind of my new year like resolution kind of thing for uh, my channel. So respond to most of my comments unless they're kind of stupid or they don't really need responding. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure you leave a like and comment as I said before. And help me out to 5,000 subscribers. I'm only like 20 away. So if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know. Um, Twitter as well. I'm always on Twitter. And definitely follow me on Twitch. I'll be streaming um, when I get my new computer as soon as possible. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.